This is a review of my Vornado room heater. I bought this a while back as part of our preps uh, in case the heat went out in the middle of winter and uh, we couldn't get anybody out here to repair the heater. It would save the day for us. Well, it turns out it has saved the day for us. It's, it's, we've used it now for two weeks. Uh, our, our system developed a, a dirty sock syndrome smell and we can't stand the smell. But we're right in the middle of COVID right now and we're both high risk. We can't afford to have somebody come out and try to uh, and expose us uh, in case they're infected. So we've been using this only and it's working really well. So I want to do a review and tell you a little more about it. This is the Vornado MVH Vortex Room Heater. It has a cool touch case, so it's, it's plastic, so you won't get burned touching it. It has an auto safety shutoff system in it, so that if, if the intake gets blocked, it shuts off to keep it from overheating. Uh, it has what they call a finger-friendly design. Resists curious fingers, they say. It uh, has an auto tip feature, so that if it goes more than 10 degrees, it'll shut off. It's on right now. You can... You can Um, and now the, this is the thermostat and this is the mode so this would be the the three lines would be the the warmest coolest and the, and then in between so it's the one two and then three and then off and on and the way this works is when you first put it in a room you turn on whatever temperature you want the, the fan stays about the same you can adjust the intensity of the heat with with the uh, the mode so on three would be the maximum you turn it on max whatever temp heat mode you want just leave it on two and you max it out and then you wait until the room gets the temperature that you like and then turn the thermostat down until it clicks Okay, so right there, you leave it there, and, and it'll, it'll attempt to maintain that temperature, which is pretty good at that. And what I want to show you now is the, the or test is the uh, wattage. Now, they say that high, it's on right now, is uh, 1,500 watts. So let's, let's test that. You got my meter right here. Okay, it looks like we're running 1,300 about 1,377 watts. And they say 15, so that's not bad, it's saving some power. We'll go to the uh, second mode, which should be 1,125 watts. So 1,047. So they're overestimating, which is nice. We'll turn the lowest temperature or intensity, and it should be about 750 watts. 725. So all of my readings show lower than what they estimate, which is good. So they, it's like they've overestimated it. Okay, now I'm going to do a, um, a, uh, um, uh, a milligoss reading, which is I'm going to find out how much EMF this actually produces. Some people are concerned about EMF. You get it from your cell phone, TV sets, microwaves, you know, a lot of things. Um, anyway, so I want to see what kind of exposure you get with this unit. Now they say... My, my meter says it's by trifield that it, for something that's a constant exposure you should try to stay away from things that are uh, three and above right now i have it on a range of zero to a hundred and i'm just standing here and and it's it's reaching about seven so for i would i'd be comfortable standing you know, like about no no closer to the you know than that. That's just me. Other people don't care. Right here, I don't think it's a big deal at all. When you get to about right here, yeah, I wouldn't want to be standing here. And you know what? I bet you every heater out there will have that. This is not unusual. I don't know for sure, but I I wouldn't doubt it a bit. Now it has a handle, so you can carry it. Makes it nice. I like that. Let me turn it off. It's getting hot. Right now, we have this heating up 600 square feet in our living room. It's a living room kitchen combined, a linear design, and it does fine. We do not have the heater on, and it's 49 degrees out. And in my home right now, if you can see this, it's 76. 
So um, it's super quiet. I'll listen to this. I don't, I barely hear it. The fan speed is, is the same throughout. That's not what changes. It's the intensity of the heat that you get to choose. Anyway, I, I love this thing. Uh, we put it in the bedroom at night because we're not using our heater right now. And, and we put it in the living room in the daytime and it really works well. The maximum it's going to use is 1500 watts um, per hour. So uh, uh, the heat pump we have, I don't know how many watts that, that uses, but when I look it up online, they say heat pumps average around 15,000 watts. So I hope this has been helpful. You ought to pick one of these up um, as part of your preps. You might need it sometime. Thanks for watching. Go ahead and sub and, and uh, share this if you can and like the video if you liked it. Well, have a great day. Thanks for watching.